Hi guys, it's Gav here from DanceMinute.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's video, you can see that we've got the legendary Joe Williams back. How you doing, mate? And what you been up to? Just been watching the dark, really. I've had a few personal issues, but I'd like to be back on the channel. Yes, good. I know that you love your stats, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Today, me and Joe are actually going to be talking about uh, some of the big name players that have been successful, uh, that are in real danger of losing their tour card. Um, we both did a video on this. I'm not sure if a lot of you see it last year. Um, five of the six players actually did lose their um, tour card. Only one kept it, uh, Devin Peterson. Um, maybe he had a sort of lucky charm. I don't, I don't know, Joe. I'm maybe clutching at things there. Know anything about a lucky charm he might have had? Yeah, I think it's certain Gary Rockyard was a, a VIP guest at Ali Pali to the Masters. Yeah, uh, it was absolutely brilliant. So any of the players we're talking about, you know, I'm just a phone call away. Hit me up and I'll come down and be your lucky charms. Uh, today, as we know, is the um, final um, Pro Tour. So a lot is riding on this for some of the players to, to qualify for the Worlds and stand a chance of keeping their tour cards. Uh, the players we're going to be talking about today, five players, we're going to be talking about Mark Webster, Alan Norris, Robert Thornton, Benito van der Paz, and Corey Cadby. So first up, let's talk about Mark Webster. What does he need to do today uh, to stand a chance potentially for maybe Minehead or, or the Worlds? So for in terms of the Worlds, he's £4,750 off the cutoff, so he needs to make at least the final or win the Pro Tour today. In terms of the place championship final, he's £2,750 off, so he needs to make again make the final or win it. So it's going to be tough to have to bear, so I don't know whether he'll make it, but uh, he's drawn against Yellow Classen in round one. Yeah, he's from Yellow Classen, is he? Yeah, and he's potentially got Jota to shoot today, if everyone knows who he is, uh, in the second round. So um, it's going to be tough to ask for Mark Webster to um, try and qualify for the, the TV events today. I really like Mark Webster. I think he has found his uh, sort of secondary job as, as such. I think he's really enjoying yeah. all the TV side of things anyway, isn't he? So. Uh, I think he knows what he wants to do when he's, he's quit. I know he's still young, but I'm um, going to be tough for Webster today. Uh, next up, let's talk about Alan Norris. He's 51 on the Pro Tour at, um, at the moment. What does he need to do to try and get to the Worlds? So to, to qualify for the World Championship, he's £6,750 off the cutoff, so he needs to win the Pro Tour today. He's got to win it to be there, has he? Final. He needs to make at least a final or win the event today, so it's going to be tough to ask uh, for Alan. Who's he been drawn against? He's been drawn against Mike Tyvenhoven, a young Dutch lad, um, and it, he's got a potential second round clash with Justin Pye, who's playing really Yeah, really he's well. playing, he's, he's, he's sort of got his mojo back, hasn't he, over the last few months? Yeah, yeah. And he's on the same board as Dave Chisholm, who's just, you know, he's playing brilliant again right now. Yeah, he certainly he's is. Got, got. Okay, let's have a look at Robert Thornton, 38 on the Pro Tour Order of Merit. What does he need to do today? So he, 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 in terms of the World Championship, uh, he's £3,250 off the cutoff. He needs to make at least a final or win it. But in terms of the Players' Championship finals, he's only £1,000 off the cutoff. So he probably needs to make at least the quarter finals uh, or further uh, to stand a chance of qualifying. So he's got a bit of a better chance than the, the, the other two. Who's he been drawn against, you say? He's been drawn against Madden Glasner, who qualified for the World Championship. Right. Uh, the Golden Pulpit qualifier this weekend. And he's a potential second round clash with Stephen Bunsen or Ricky Eddow, so uh, it's going to be a tough clash for uh, Robert Thornton. Let's move on to um, Benito van der Paz. Really rough couple of years for him. Um, now 70 in the Pro Tour of Merit. Um, what does he need to do today to even stand any sort of chance of making it into the Worlds, or, or is it near impossible? Well, in terms of the World Championship, he needs to win the Pro Tour today, so even if he wins it, he may still not make it. So, but in terms of the Players' Championship, he needs to make either the final or win the event today in terms of qualifying for that event. Tough times. Last but not least, uh, Corey Cadby, um, obviously 86 on the Pro Tour de Mirror, obviously not planned at the moment, got lots going on in his personal life. Um, tough times uh, for him as well ahead? Yeah, it is. I don't know whether he will be playing any of the events, so he's probably going to have to rely on players for lower, not having a run in majors. So for me personally, um, just my opinion, I can't see um, any of the players doing enough today. Um, you yeah. know, I don't know whether you agree with, with that or not. Uh, let's say yeah. that they don't and they uh, don't get into the world. Um, 
you know, what, what, what other chances have they got to, you know, qualify to get into it? Is the PDPA qualifiers the last, um, last yeah. chance? Yes, so it's a PDPA qualifier there for four card holders uh, who haven't qualified through the pro tour or the amount, so they they have a chance uh, at Wigan uh, just after the Players' Championship final, the last chance to qualify, and there's three spots up for grabs, so if you qualify, you gain £7,500. And that will uh, be enough. The first round. And uh, what about you? Which which of these five players um, can you see? Uh, who, who's going to, any of the five players for you going to be keeping their tour card, or... Or do you think they're all going to be losing it? I probably only see Benito and Paulie Cabri at the minute because they're, they're still at 57 and 56. But uh, Kevin Payton was 54 going into Ali Pali last year and he lost his tour card. So it just shows, doesn't it? And you you always get some people that go on a run and, and, that, and obviously it's big prize money, isn't it? I think, is it 10 grand, 10 grand even in the first round this year? Well, the see the players uh, gain 15 grand just for qualifying. So... Obviously, Nathan Axelad has won at Ali Pali, which has gone from 68th in the world to 34th. Yeah, so incredible. Can be... can be done. It can be done. Uh, so, big question, uh, you know, is who is going to, um, you know, keep their tour cards? Let us know if you think there's any other players in danger, obviously, other than me and Joe have discussed today and could potentially find themselves at Coo School. Obviously, lots of movers and shakers this time of year. Uh, it's a great time for darts, isn't it? We've got so much uh, tournaments coming up. Yeah. I'm actually going to, I'm not sure if I told you, I'm actually going to be going to Mine Ed this year. Um, really, really looking forward to that one. Up there four, four days um, with Mace, for all Thursday till the Monday. Uh, we're going to be in the Fan Zone, um, which JBD um, run. Fantastic events. Looking forward to that. And we're going to be selling the magazine as well so um obviously we've got the grand slam coming up as well joe yeah yeah one of my favorite tournaments absolutely love the grand slam of darts obviously uh you know anything can happen in that i like the mix of the two uh the video still yeah. and the pdc I, I think it just gives us uh uh something different um so thank you all for watching guys really really appreciate it um, thanks for joining me and Joe today. It's been an absolute pleasure getting you back on the channel. I know that we're going to be doing more videos and stats, and we've got a few ideas leading up to Christmas as well. For those of you that haven't entered our competition, uh, it's at Wolverhampton on the 19th of October, which is this Saturday. 1,750 quid prize money up for grabs, guys. It's going to be great fun. Me, May, some other good players there. Joe's going to come up there. Never met Joe in person either, so looking forward to that, mate. Um, that's going to be really cool. And um, just one more bit of exciting news. Uh, Dance Planet TV is going to be showing the 2020 uh, Winmore launch in conjunction with them on Friday morning at 11 a.m. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, guys, please do. It's going to be lots of fun. We've got loads more content coming. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Massive thank you to Joe, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.